Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Make Monday. Today I am featuring the brand, a Greek brand, Cores, and I created this look. It's a beautiful springtime peachy lip, apricot cheeks, and a little bit of a cat eye liner, smoky eye, daytime smoky eye. And if you want to know how I create this look, then keep on watching. I already applied my foundation. I filmed it for you. I will insert the clip here and put on some concealer. And I also went ahead and did my eyebrows with the Cedar Wood Long Lasting Eyebrow Pencil. It's a great color for redheads. And now we can continue with the rest of the look. I am giving my brows a little lift. Infinity Power Brows by Linda Halbert to lift up the brows and I go over it with my fingers to take away a little bit of excess product and make sure that the brow stays put. I always like to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I have been using this for many years and I always repurchase this. I'm going to put a powder blush on top, so it's good to so powder the cheeks. Number 29, Twist Eyeshadow. And I'm going to run this along the lash line. And I'm going to create like a V shape. Because that is the shape that I want to go for with my eyeshadow. Then I'm just taking a little blending brush and blending the edges. This is a 24 hour pencil so it will probably set. This is the first time me using this. Now I'm going in with the eyeshadow palette, the Absolute Nudes. I'm going to dip in the lighter shade of the eyeshadow palette, the flat shader brush, and I'm going to pack this on the inner part of the eye. Then I'm going in the golden shade, also with the flat shader brush, but you can just switch sides. And I'm going to go over that shape that I created earlier. See how pigmented this one is? It's really beautiful, really beautiful bronzy gold. I'm going to take a little bit a more rounded brush. So I have better control where to place the eyeshadow. With a tiny pencil brush, I'm going to dip in the golden shade and go take it underneath. This one is a tad bit darker, so I'm going in with a small brush. Run this along the lash line just to intensify the outer part. I've been using this already a couple of days. I really like this. This is the Mineral Liqu Minerals Liquid Eyeliner Pen. So you can put it flat on the lash line. I've been loving a cat eye. So I'm going to now use this color over here, the outer one. And I'm going to place it on top of the liner and creating even more of a V shape. Oh, don't worry, it's not neat right now, but I will also blend this. And I will just start to blend the upper part a bit. So here you have my face with mascara. I think it makes a big difference. Um, I'm going in the palette again and I'm taking a very flat brush. I'm going to trace it above the liner to just make it blend in more. That makes a difference. I think that's the eyes done. I'm to blush because I need a little bit of color. <laughs> 
I have two blushes over here. This is the color Luminous Apricot. And then I have another blush, which is a little bit more toned down. It's called Light Bronze. And I think for now I'm going to start with this one. But it's amazing how the face changes when, once you start to apply blush. And I like to apply it on the apples of my cheeks and pull it up. On the highlighter and I have the Wild Rose Highlighter Instant Illuminating Powder. I'm not going to take my trusty fan brush, I'm going to take another tapered brush, roll it in here. Illuminating powder in my inner corner. Onto the lips. I have t uh, two products. I have liquid lipstick. This is a vibrant matte one stroke color. And I also have lip balm. I'm first going to show you the lip balm. This is a product that I've been using for many years. I have a brand new one, especially for this video. This is their mango a lip butter, but the flavor is mango. And it smells lovely too. And the application is very easy. Just with your finger. So here's the finished look with lip color number one. This is the Mango Lip Butter. But I'm also going to show you the liquid lipstick, the Vibrant Matte One Stroke Color. Here you go, this is the finished look. I'm wearing the Morello lip. This is a matte liquid lipstick. And I have an idea. I want to put a little bit of the mango lip butter on top and see how it looks like. Now that I have my lip completely done, I'm thinking of adding a touch more blusher. I'm going to use that luminous apricot because I think it's going to be a good match. This is gorgeous. I love this blush. It has a very lively sheen to it. And this is the finished look. I love the combination of the matte lip lipstick with the lip butter on top because it just changes the color a little bit, makes it more warm toned and it's a beautiful springtime shade. And the skin is very luminous thanks to the foundation, highlighter, but also the blush, um, luminous apricot. I love this, this blush over here. This is going to end up in my everyday makeup. <laughs> everyday makeup bag and uh, the liner I love it too I've been using it for the last couple of days um, yeah I hope that you like this look and of course at the end of this video there's another giveaway hold on so for the giveaway I have three of the Morello vibrant match one stroke colors head over to the blog leave a comment and uh, yeah these three can be yours thank you so much for watching and have an amazing week